out of the curfew, what's going on? Um, Quincy Rowe, the skipper, and sent her off. Straight into it, I think our win of the season would probably have to be... Um, Westfield was a great win, like 3 0 away, 3 um, 0 result away. Clean sheet is always nice. Two in stands out for me as well because we got battered 5 0, so getting some revenge on two in was, was absolutely brilliant. But I'm probably going to have to go with Bracknell 0 0 away. Of, um, that game was so fast, so ferocious, it was so intense, and we needed to like come together as a team. We had to work things out. They had everything. There was arguments. There was camaraderie. It was it was it was a brilliant game. And for me, that was that was a standout game for me. After after that game, when we drew nil nil, because they'd been on a six win winning streak, I believe. I I, I knew that we was hundred percent going to get playoffs, and we was going to go close to catching whoever was top of the league because that was intense. And we got through that, and we so we can get through anything. So for me, that was my standout um, performance. Uh, goal of the season, I probably have to go for. Listen, we've had some good goals. There was a goal where I don't know. I think the centre half went on a run, back heeled it. Jake Baxter banged it in. That was a good goal. Um, but I'm gonna have to go for uh, Lubo's dink. Like I've been playing, I've been playing at Chelsea for two years now, and the geezer is just a scorer of great goals. Like left foot, right foot. Headers, tappings, screamers, he scores them all. But this little dink from the edge of the box. And I think the best thing about that goal is his celebration. He's just like, it's just normal to him. So definitely going to go um, Lubo's dink away at Tootin. Decent goal. Uh, what have I been doing in isolation? Can't name all the stuff, but um, mostly uh, I've been, I'm a school teacher, so I've been marking a lot of, a lot of papers ringing parents i've been working quite a lot i'm mean, just doing home workouts really it's a tough time because i'm usually quite active but um yeah just staying in staying safe really uh favorite person like i've I've played for a few teams before and i don't think like i played for two in a mitchell and our team spirit there was absolutely unreal and got us through a lot but there's something different about this team, man. We are, we are so close. It's crazy. Like so close is crazy. Like to everyone. To I love Mason. Me and him have our little battles and left side, strong side. I love Andy Crosley. He's the fines man. He tries to stitch me up every single week. Um, Jake Baxter, looking yeah, hilarious. We're just always in a barrel of laughs, and he's he's just such an honest, genuine person. Murph. Been Lubo, like me and Lubo, it's a love hate relationship. I love the geezer, but I hate him at the same time. He's, he's brilliant, like Peacock. I could, I could listen, I could go through the whole team and because we're all close, Cashy flipping out. Oh, if if never there's a person to flipping love or hate, it's him. But, um, my favorite person, I'm gonna go with Scott Bay. He's 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 a legend, he's one of my best pals on and off the field. He's his honesty actually is something so refreshing. You've got people that will blow smoke and say oh you played well or you've done this or done good but he's very honest and he, he'll keep you grounded and, and get you playing well he's um he's, he, contrary to belief he's actually quite smart as well um so yeah i'm gonna go with scott day for that uh my message to the fans um firstly hope you're all safe and sound and none of your family have been affected by this um horrible virus um and thank you like literally thank you since the second I've got down here, you've been absolutely unreal, I get goosebumps every time you guys sing my song, you're so polite, you're, you, like, you're, just, you're just legendary fans, and not only just to me, I've seen it with absolutely everybody that's come in, you've made them feel welcome, everyone's got a song, win, lose or draw, you're always nice to us on the bar, which you were even nice to us after we got battered 5-0 against Tootin, <laughs> which was decent, so thank you, thank you very much for that. Um, next season... Next season, it's, it's a minimum, for me, it's minimum playoffs, but we got to, I reckon we've got to go hard to win in the league. Like, we had a good formula this year, we had a little blip, 
and then we met together as a team and, and realised the things that we were going well and the things that weren't going well. And once we sorted that out and got on top of that, like, we are unstoppable, not just because we've got the best players, just because how we are together. And I think if we can keep the, the nucleus of the squad, keep the same squad about competitions rough, everything's rough. I think I think we'll go I think we'll go close to winning it next year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, have I missed any questions? Next season, favorite person? No. So yeah, Chelsea fans, thank you very much. Hope everyone's safe and rock on next season. How can I forget player of the season? Um, there's been a lot, a lot of player of the, the contenders. Um, Jacko, unreal start of the season. Um, Giza just went on too many holidays and bombed us out for a date. I think in a cup game. Poor from you, Jack. Um, who else has been unreal? Late one, Brian. I think when Brian's come in, he's just added something to the. He's a nicest kid on the planet, but he's aggressive, which I absolutely love. Um, so late contender Brian. Scott Day, Scott Day's been unreal, goals, energy, work rate, never die at you, never gives up, uh, so for me it's Scott Day, or, but my, I'm going to go with Jake Baxter, uh, and not for his goals, like, um, he scored, he's top goal scorer in the league, that's so obvious, that's a given, that's what you're going to get, but Playing with him this year and last year, his technical ability is so good. Like he holds the ball up so well. His little round the corners, his, his footballing brain's sick. So I just learnt to appreciate that a lot more. And maybe bar Scott Day and a few other people, I've never seen someone. He runs so much. Like he he's knackered by the end of every single game. So for me, my player of the year. Um, Backstop, but honourable mentions to everyone I said, and even Kashi. Kashi's got a few goals. Um, he's 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 not the full ticket, but Kashi's been unreal as well. But um, yeah, my player of the season, definitely, definitely uh, Jake Backstop. Definitely Jake Backstop.